So we're seeing the first uh, start of the real deep ecological restoration work that we're going to be doing in the Avon River precinct. So today we're the, the setting up for the diggers to actually start removing the silt that's built up in the river over the last hundred years. So we're going to dig down and remove the silt quite deep because what we want to do is create nice clean gravels for the invertebrates to live in and that's a, a really such a fundamental part of the food chain. So we're going to restore this river uh, towards like the way that it was before we all moved in. The river in many ways is it's the most significant natural feature of the central city, so it forms the backbone of, what, of the central city. But following on from the ecological restoration, very quickly we'll be starting to do the promenade and the cycleway and the terracing down to the river. So people were able to get really close access to the, to the, uh, to the eels and the fish and, and just the clean water and all the life that a river has. Um, and be able to sit there, enjoy it, perhaps have a cup of tea or a drink or a laugh. And, uh, and walk up and down the river along this fantastic new waterfront promenade that we're going to create. We will hopefully have it all wrapped up by the end of next year, if not earlier, and it's going to look, be looking fantastic even before then if we finish each stage. From today we, we start the in-river works, so that in, involves removing the sediment, so that's the first team that's moving through, they're digging out all these deep layers of sediment that go down to you know, over a metre deep in places, Cleaning up those gravels so our um, historic spawning areas are being badly silted up so they're turning those gravels over and cleaning them out and then following along behind there's the construction teams that'll be um, recreating or improving the physical habitat so they'll be building the fresh plains out, narrowing the channel, putting in these weir riffle complexes um, and adding in cobble clusters and other habitat. So in key places, one where we know that there's some important fish like the big longfin eels, uh, in other areas uh, in gravel sections we may have populations of bluegill bullies that are only found in certain parts of the river, um, then we go in beforehand and, and remove those fish because obviously we are improving the river for them so we'd like to still have them around to enjoy it. So. Um, there's a, a number of occasions where we, we sort of recommend that the fish rescue people come in and, and get those fish out. You improve the health of a river, you improve the health of a city. You know, we're so linked to this system and to this river, it's, so, it's such a part of Cantabrian's life that if it's a healthier place then it's, it's, it's better for us as well. So what I would like to see in the future is you know, all of our children's children coming down here and still feeding the big longfin eels, seeing the trout spawning and the other native fish um, in there and to hear the sound of the water like we can hear where we are now um, because historically we haven't had that in the Avon. The construction period will run through to the end of May for the first portion and that's because we want to be out of the river before the trout spawning season. Uh, then after the spawning season they'll be back in the river and continuing as they move down. So through to Colombo Street we should be getting most of the works done um, by the end of May. After um, the trout spawning season they, the crews can get back in the river again and they can continue on and there's uh, some areas uh, between here and Colombo Street that can't be built because of the bridge works that are going on so they'll come back and finish those and then continue down from Colombo Street down to Fitzgerald Avenue. I'm looking forward to a, a healthy burgeoning river. I'm looking forward to walking along the river and hearing the sound of the water and to be able to see this fast flying water rushing by and see these clear gravels where we've got um, trout spawning and we've got native fish in abundant numbers, big longfin eels hanging out on the banks and um, it would be really lovely to have, have people coming down and feeding the, feeding the eels and having um, large numbers of these really long old grandparents in the river just hanging out and ha having that human interaction.